Okay, so I, I just like to like point out this duel that I just had with Lockdown because I think it's really funny. Turn starts, I'm up first, right? Going here, Small World allows me to reveal a monster in my hand and then uh, banish one monster from my deck with similar all this shit. You can read this if you really care enough, but basically it allows me to search out a card from my deck. Banish that card, search out Magellan. Magellan is my primary com combo starter in this deck, okay? Use Magellan's effect to summon Pudding Cessor. Pudding Cessor is another combo starter, but it has to be special summoned in order to activate a combo. That's what Magellan does. Pudding Cessor, gonna special summon this bitch onto the field. This bitch activates its effect, and that bitch allows me to summon Angeli. Anjali, I contribute this to summon anything from the deck, summon Hootcake, use Hootcake's effect, uh, which allows me to, if you really want to, you can just read it, uh, if you really care that much, but Hootcake allows me to basically banish Anjali from the graveyard to summon Mr. Missing Gelato over here. Missing Gelato allows me to search out any spell or trap card from my deck. Okay, turn one, this is all that happens. Pretty good combo, if I do say so myself, but this turn is not the important turn. I summon Glass Souffle, I summon a Link Monster. This Link Monster will become important later. What just happened with this card over here, by the way, this field spell's now out on the board because I used uh, Messing Gelato to summon it out. Basically just gives my monsters all an attack boost, and then if a monster would be returned to the graveyard by a card effect, Instead, if it's a Medulce monster, I can just add it to my fucking hand, allowing me to continue combos and shit. Or just have it in my hand to begin with, right? Anyway, I end my turn. And to be completely fair to this guy, he had a actually kind of good turn too. Used Rush recklessly, gave himself 2700 attack, gave himself... Uh, effectively just gave himself a beat stick. Watch, you know, whatever. Uh, effectively just gave himself a 2700 beat stick, which he used to kill one of my monsters. Went out, and, and there it is. Now, here's where things become problematic. Admittedly, that was a really good turn, but also admittedly, this guy's about to fuck up really badly. Here's where it goes wrong. Here's, here's where it goes wrong. This guy activates Ballista Squad. Ballista Squad is a very good card. Allows me to tribute a monster, but well, she's gonna tribute this monster. Then target one card uh, I control and destroy it. Remember when I said this card was gonna be important later? Here's where that becomes important. If this card on the field would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can shuffle one Medulce monster from your, gra from your graveyard into the deck instead. Now the wording on this is really confusing, but, and I didn't know this for a long time, so if you're playing with Dolce deck, please remember that that means it doesn't get destroyed. The, it doesn't say that explicitly, but that does that is what it means. Y you noticed this card back here. If a monster in my graveyard would be returned to the deck, you can add it to your hand. This is a problem. Because I haven't used my normal summon yet this turn, and I have Magellan in the graveyard. So let's see what happens. I activate the effect, he activates Ballista Squad. Ballista Squad doesn't work because I have Sistart. Here's the thing. I couldn't have done anything this turn if he hadn't had activated Ballista Squad. So here's what happens. Activate Magellan, activate Salon to get one more normal summon, by the way. If you really want to know what Salon does, here is what it does. Read that real quick. Activate Magellan, draw Anjali, put Anjali out on the field with my second normal summon. Uh, activate Hootcake. This is the basic combo. This is the combo I did the first turn. Pudding Cessor, Pudding Cessor out with Missing Gelato. And here's the thing. I actually fucked up this combo. I, I, I legitimately fucked up this combo. You know what I should have done? I should have gone through and I uh, used Pudding Cessor to... Uh, Search through the deck for Pudding Cess, used Pudding Cess and another level 4 monster to uh, summon one of these two, and then used one of these two to activate this, so I can get a 3000 level monster, and as long as Pudding Cess is its material, I basically just get to special summon whatever I want from the deck. 
it's really powerful, and it's basically the end game for this deck, but it doesn't really matter. Because look at this, I now have my Dolce Ticket, I'm gonna use these two cards to summon out... I forgot this card's name, Tiramisu? Tiramisu. Okay. Use that to summon Tiramisu, and I win. This is 8,800 damage right here, and I could have had more if I had actually kept uh, Hootcake, and, uh, or if I had kept uh, Magellan and putting Cesar out on the field. He, he gave me the game by allowing me to put back Magellan in my hand, by attacking my fresh Sistart, or not attacking, by trying to destroy my fresh Sistart, and allowing me to put Magellan in the graveyard, and then allowing me to put Magellan back in my hand, he won me the game. This is an OTK. This is an OTK, and it's his fault. It's Lockdown's fault. This guy? This guy, this guy caused his own death. Kudos to this guy. He had an alright turn two, probably the only shit he could have done with the hand he had. Probably should have read the card effects, though. Anyway, let's see it play out. And dead. <laughs>